So we found out that we've got about 24 inches of water in our basement, which is uh, an unfinished basement that is meant to hold water because we live in a flood plain. We've gotten about, we got a bunch of rain, a uh, bunch of storms, and clearly the area has flooded and we didn't uh, know that our sump pump wasn't working. So uh, Matt and I are both in waders and we're about to go down and try to take care of this problem. Yeah. I think it's a, it's something, it's packages. It's a thing I bought that helps the sump pump. <laughs> Irony. Yeah. Well, this is the basement. I am still, there are still two steps down to go here. It's probably about 30 inches deep. It smells really good down here. It doesn't smell that bad. No. It's kind of neutral. It smells like water. Yeah. The irony is the bottle of Clorox floating. <laughs> and this, and <laughs> the hose reel, and there's a step stool that's completely submerged. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Yes, I sure it am. A really long time to get the water pumped out of here. I'm trying to guesstimate, like like days. They use how much did you say filling three swimming pools? That's how much water is down here. I don't here? know. I know that. Well, I know that that pump will probably pump out approximately three gallons per hour, or three thousand gallons per hour. So I don't know how many gallons that is. We could try to calculate it. Oi. Well, what do you want to do? Well, I want to keep pumping and when it gets down to like 24 inches or less where it's more reasonable to walk in, because 30 inch water is brutal. So yeah. Like every bit lower it gets will make it that much easier to do the rest. It's of lowered water. about two inches already. I, I can see get, it on the walls. Yeah. I want to get the new sump pump in as soon as possible. Yeah. Pumping. Is the water coming out of the basement? which we are definitely gonna have a lake out here. But we're gonna dig a trench so the water goes where we want it to go. It's definitely working. The water is definitely going to this low spot. <laughs> Some of the floating mud out of here. This is going to be a perfect little channel because the water is not going to go on this side because it's no. higher. Cool. Yeah, in fact, you could probably toss your dirt on this side if you want. That's okay. I think that it's good on this side because, okay. yeah, I think the grasses fill in here yeah. and it'll just be a perfect little gulch. That, that one is the broken one? Do you know why it's broken? Huh? Do you know what happened to it? Yeah, it just burned out. The motor did? Yeah. So you're touching that. Iron water, that iron deposits in yeah, there. I can see that. Yeah, you can see it in the pipe too. This really is a little upset that it. That what? That I have to do this like in an emergency status where it's going to fall. Uh, well, now you have it in your hand, so I think it's the size one, two, three, four, 
uh, four. And there's four of a smaller size, too. Okay. It is stinky down there. Oh, I know, but it definitely is stinky. What's that black hole? Is that another one that's working? Which one? The big black hole that goes up to the wall. No. I'm not exactly sure what that's for, but... Oh. Some pump is once again working. Uh, we need to fix this whole thing over here, apparently. <laughs> but, the sump pump is working, and the yard is already flooding, which... We've got about three swimming pools worth of water in our basement, so I'm not really surprised our, our yard is flooding. Unfortunately, we can't swim in it, but it's no longer in our home.